sure to hit that like button, everyone. And if you're not subscribed, I appreciate you to subscribe to my channel and also enable those notifications. This video is sponsored by MEI Travel. Feel free to reach out to me at cruisingwithjt at gmail.com and I'll get you connected to my travel agent at MEI Travel. She'll take great care of you. And I'll also include that information in the description below. Thank you so much. Hey everyone, this is Cruising with JT here. Let's go ahead and jump into the Royal Caribbean app and see some of the activities that Royal Caribbean has published on the inaugural voyage for Icon of the Seas. And again, you'll see here, we're gonna go from day by day. Starting with day one, you can see that they're getting the ship in ship shape super early in the morning. 11 a.m. is around the time that the most, uh, the first folks will be boarding the ship. And you can see here, there's a couple of things that are open at that time. My boarding time is a little bit later than that, but um, hey, you know what? There's gonna be plenty of time to enjoy the day as we uh, you know, enjoy the embarkation experience. So you'll see there's a couple of items at 11, at 12 o'clock, they got the welcome on board live music as well. Uh, one thing I've noticed also about this schedule is that um, there's a couple of events happening at every hour of the day. Now, one thing that you'll notice as we go through this video is that it's very music centric, right? There's of course some family activities and other experiences that you'll notice, but I think for the most part, it's very music heavy. Uh, and you'll see that in just a second. Now, of course, the Welcome to Icon Pool Party. This is something actually pretty new. Uh, typically, they do like a sail away party at sail away time, but looks like this is starting two hours prior to sail away, right? So sail away is not till 5 p.m., but the pool party is happening at 3 p.m. to 5.30. And of course, you know, I'll be going live on YouTube and stuff. It'll be a lot of fun, right? So I'm um, against this is still day one. Uh, I got the soccer shoot at 4 p.m., guitar melodies with Jabe. So you'll notice here, if you have the app and you are on the inaugural voyage, you should be able to see it. Now, one thing I've noticed also is that it's not fully complete yet, but this is the first uh, that we're seeing of any of the activities that are available on board the ship, which is pretty cool. You'll see here, you got some music with the resident DJ, you got a, uh, you know, miniature golf hold in one competition for the family, which is pretty exciting. I know my wife and I and my daughter will be doing a lot of that throughout the week. Um, you see, once we get to 6 p.m., we're getting closer to dinner time now. Uh, there's some guitar melodies and stuff. Again, there's just so much happening in and around the ship. Uh, it's gonna be really exciting. Uh, they got the you know classic rock with DJ at the music hall. Some of the new venues that you'll see here as well uh, as we you know go through this um, this uh, this walkthrough of the Royal Caribbean app. And of course, the family dance party is at 7 p.m. I really want to check that out, but it is during dinner, so we may uh, actually you know what we might kind of keep dinner pretty chill the first night. You know, not have like an hour, half, two hour meal. We'll just keep it chill on the first night because there's so much happening, uh, and you can see here there's a lot of things happening at Spotlight Karaoke. There's this one right here, Dueling Pianos with Tim and Sarah. Tim and Sarah are like the two dueling piano players appears for the whole week. And I'm so excited about this new venue, guys. It is gonna be phenomenal. Dueling pianos, having two amazing music, you know, piano players going at it, singing along with the crowd. Oh, it's gonna be epic. I can't wait. And of course they have a, a later showing as well for the dueling pianos. Again, for they have the early bird and the, or at least the earlier showing and the later showing for folks who may not be able to stay up super late. So. Looks like as the first day winds down, you got the big welcome party. I think this is where they have a lot of the folks on the promenade and they got the balloon drop. I hope that's what it is. I'm gonna do what I can to keep my daughter up for that. It is super late, but I feel like this is something that she needs to check out. So I'll try to give her some extra dessert uh, that night so she can stay awake for that balloon drop. And the welcome aboard party, I think it'll be a lot of fun. She can sleep in the next day. Um, you know, day two, as you can see here, is uh, for a sea day on board Icon of the Seas. We do have back-to-back -back sea days, so day two and day three is uh, sea days. The first item you saw start, doesn't start at 11.45 a.m., and then it goes to 1 p.m., so obviously there's a, there's a little bit of a gap in between some of these um, offerings, which again, just tells you that this is not final. Uh, this is just like the first version, if you will. And again, if I see more updates that are more uh, you know noteworthy of sharing, I will definitely do another video. But as you can see here, we're Going down uh, the list here for day two, again, first day at sea, got some poolside music with a DJ, guitar melodies, dance music with the sea stars, that sounds pretty cool as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just uh, excited to you know, see what all this is about. The Family Silent Disco, which is a great time because 7 p.m. is, you know, I think more uh, uh, proper for, you know, uh, families with kids because uh, 11 o'clock is kind of late. Um, we got more music uh, experiences here as well. Again, Tim and Sarah return for the dueling piano experience. Uh, again, this is day two. This is a, a formal night, or what they call dress to or dress your best night. Uh, so folks will be looking amazing uh, in their attire and taking pictures around the ship. I'm really hoping that they have uh, one of the photography, uh, you know, portrait studios set up in front of the 
the pearl, which I think they will. But yeah, uh, going on to day three, as you can see, we jump right to 11.30 a.m. Again, this is the second day at sea. We're still on our way to St. Kitts uh, in the middle of the Caribbean. Uh, you'll see there's more gaps in between some of these times. But again, uh, just more offerings. A lot of these experiences, you notice that they are repeated because a lot of times people may not get a chance to you know, experience these the first couple days. They're really kind of taking it all in, uh, exploring the ship, getting used to things, and just seeing what the ship is, has to offer. Because let me tell you guys, I've seen some videos of Icon of the Seas, and there's just so much to do. You know, I don't know if Seven Nights is going to be enough, but it's going to be absolutely epic and just mind-blowing. And I can't wait to take you guys along for the experience. So... You'll see here you got Lou's Jazz and Blues Club, which I'm super excited to check out as well. Nothing like a nice little stroll in Central Park and, you know, getting a, getting a nice drink and listening to some jazz and blues with some amazing uh, performers. Uh, you got dancing music with the Sea Stars again, more guitar melodies again, more music-focused entertainment, uh, at least on this version one of the activities released on board the Royal Caribbean app for Icon of the Seas. So, um, yeah, we're going to wind down day three here in just a bit, and then we're going to head over to day four again you got dueling pianos right there again they're gonna be a very popular event i guarantee it all right let's take a look at day four and you'll notice that the first item on the menu is karaoke at 3 30 p.m so you might be wondering hey what's happening between 8 a.m and 3 30 again version one they're they're still working out all the details of all the programming and stuff yeah, even on at a port day right and of course on a port day there may not be a lot at, as going on because a lot of people are off the ship so something to keep in mind uh, of course port days there's just not as many activities happening like there are on sea days right but again day four you got the bob marley tribute more music with the stars more dealing pianos uh live jazz music again i'm definitely gonna check that out i'm, I'm super excited for that live jazz music my wife and i love jazz the and get a nice glass of wine just hanging out and of course open my comedy if that's gonna be something really interesting as well and we'll see we go for that uh <laughs> of course you have the silent disco this is day five again jumping right over there uh, again you'll notice that there's again this is another port day guys right so saint kiss was first then we're at saint thomas uh not as many events that are being offered but again this is not final this is version one right so a lot of things that are happening i'm just going to kind of scroll through here so you kind of get an idea as to what uh, the offerings are some of the stuff is uh, pretty repetitive in the sense that hey oh i've seen these events or offerings on previous days as well uh, this is day six this is our last day at sea as you can see they do start the events a little bit earlier I'm just going to scroll through here real quick. Um, again, nothing that's super new that has st stood out to me aside from strings in the park with the, the real, uh, you know, strings right there. Big band set with orchestra. Again, the dance music with sea stars and more, right? So uh, a lot of guitar focused experiences and entertainment. Land rhythms with Travisia. Uh, piano and vocal entertainment. That'll be interesting, right? And again, Schooner Bar, one of the classical nautical bars that are on board every Royal Caribbean ship. And again, Tim and Sarah return for the dueling pianos now again this is day six which is the last sea day on board icon of the seas maiden voyage here's an interesting one that caught my eye one hit wonders dance party i just kind of scrolled through that real quick but you know what are the one hit wonders that oh my god the song was so popular but that's all they had like you know vanilla ice 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 baby and you know and so forth so here we are day seven this is the day we are at perfect day at coco k royal caribbean's private island you can see that the first event listed doesn't start until you know mid-afternoon uh, then you have the 3 p.m you know uh, experiences at chill island one thing you'll notice here right away is that they do have the perfect day at coco k sail away party which is something they've never done before um so i'm sure there'll be a nice you know tunes and everything that are going to be happening as we leave their beautiful beautiful private island right so again this is day seven uh this is february 2nd friday and again the dance party and i'm sure it's not listed here yet but i do know that they're probably gonna have like some kind of big farewell party i hope at least right or at least a farewell show i think that's you know warranted so yeah guys more to come can't wait stay tuned this is cruising with jt and again be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see you again real soon for more icon of the seas details so exciting can't wait and a special shout out to all my patreon and youtube members thank you so much for your additional support if you'd like to become a patreon or youtube member i'll include the links in the description below it's basically a behind the scenes view of cruising with jt and special access to various benefits and perks and inside information into my upcoming videos so if you do decide to join i truly appreciate your support